What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about update 3 for Battlefield 2042. These patch notes for this update are extremely long. I'm not going to go over every single thing. If I did, this video would be 30 minutes long instead of 10 minutes long. Um, I'm going to link this down in the description if you want to read over everything for yourself. There were a lot of changes for UI fixes and you know bug fixes. They added in some weekly challenges as well. But there was just a lot of stuff that was kind of broken within the game in general that they fix small stuff within audio and uh, you know things of that nature but when it comes to some you know things I know a lot of players are really looking uh, for things that players have been talking about one being being able to see if there's anyone around you that can heal you or revive you once you're downed that has been added in so you actually can see players uh, you know within 50 meters of you if they are a person that can revive you now will have that information also if you are the person running around that can do the reviving, you will be able to get notifications of people within so many meters of you now uh, that need to be revived as well. They made a lot of changes to the portal, uh, breakthrough modes and stuff like that. No mention of portal XP coming back just yet. Some other good changes I think they made, of course, they added health bars to enemies and vehicles up to 200 me uh, meters for the vehicles and up to 50 meters when being looked at for the enemy. So that should be you know, something that will give you a little bit more visual information as well. No word yet if there's going to be any kind of hit indicator for the tanks, helicopters, that kind of thing. I was hoping they were going to add something in like that. I hope they add that in soon. That way you know how much damage you're doing to those particular vehicles for shooting, you know, launchers at them or whatever the case may be. Uh, when it comes to the specialists, this is kind of what I wanted to get into in the video. Uh, for Angel, the loadout crate, players that require armor, uh, can receive it now, have a white outline around them indicating you know that can be thrown to them. When using the loadout crate, players can now scroll if more than four loadouts are available. Visual effects and polish for the loadout crate itself. The cooldown for the resupply action on the loadout crate is now shared between loadout crates. Added a unique sound when picking up armor. They added the ability to self-apply armor with Angel Supply Bag. The loadout crate can now no longer be called in when underneath tall buildings. They added a hand gesture animation when placing the loadout crate. And Angel's armor and ammo supply pouch now auto targets towards friendlies with low ammo and not only low armor. When it comes to Iris, they fixed an issue where switching to Iris's uh, portal set player soldier command would cause the deployable cover ability to not play any animation. Updated Iris's gadget preview video. Also, they fixed an issue with the deployable cover uh, minimap icon was not displayed correctly and they improved the re uh, reliability of the cover's deployable placement, allowing placements on more angled surfaces, which is a great thing. I use Irish a lot and I have noticed sometimes I'll be trying to place the cover down really quickly in a fight. I'll be at some kind of a, a little bit of an angle on the ground and it won't place it down. So that was very annoying. Hopefully this will fix that issue. They fixed an issue where the SOB ballistic shield for Dozer blocked bullets with inside an elevator. They fixed an issue where Dozer would not target, uh, be targeted by Boris's sentry gun. They fixed an issue where players could not enter vehicles while the ballistic shield was equipped. They fixed an issue where reviving is harder to perform when having the uh, uh, ballistic shield equipped. They fixed an issue where killing a player with the ballistic shield would also take the victim's dog tag. They fixed an issue where players were flung up in the air after being meleeed by Dozer with his shield equipped. They fixed a bug where uh, Dozer could steal a takedown from uh, kill from friendlies using the shield bash. They reduced Dozer's deflection damage from his shield, which I think definitely needed to be done. And they removed the headshot multiplier from Dozer's uh, deflection damage, which is going to be a big help. I thought him having a headshot multiplier from deflection damage from that shield was absolutely crazy. Uh, when it comes to the cyber warfare suit, for Rayo, uh, they added a short grace period to the warfare suit when something uh, ocu uh, when something is targeted or being hacked. They fixed an issue where the cyber warfare suit would trigger enemy hacked voice over uh, without eligible enemies being present. They did a few things to the EMGX scanner as well. They added a sound effect for the victims being scanned. They fixed missing sound for the AR scanner. The EMGX scanner should now be able to spot targets above or below you when you're you know whenever you use it they disabled the use of the scanner while inside vehicles which was kind of crazy in my opinion so that's a good thing that that's been done and they also fixed the target found audio effect not working beyond targets within 20 meters when it comes to casper they have fixed a few things as well they fixed an issue where he was uh, unable to use the 
recon drone while in the prone position improved the visibility of enemy recon drones. Players now switch back to their previous weapon after exiting the recon drone. They fixed issues with the recon drone sometimes unable to lock onto enemy targets. They adjusted the near drone uh, spotting distance and adjusted the size of the spotting area when controlling the drone's camera view. Uh, for Boris, the SG-36 sentry gun will now be destroyed when the owner dies instead of when the owner is downed. And they also fixed an issue where the sentry gun would not be able to acquire targets uh, that are near a vehicle. Sundance, they move the scatter grenade to detonate after its first bounce to allow victims the chance to move away. Uh, they fixed an issue where the repair tool cross uh, crosshair was visible in the wingsuit when you entered the wingsuit. And they also fixed an issue when undeploying and deploying the wingsuit can cause a first person view while flying. Also the grenade belt, they adjusted the behavior of Sun, uh, Sundance's uh, fragment grenades to bounce before once before detonating. Uh, when it comes to the uh, the, uh, the pistol that the S21 uh, pistol, you know, the one that actually gives you your health back. They added a lock on, a lock off sound for the pistol. Also players can that require health and can revive it or can be revived and now have a wide outline around them to, you know, let you know uh, that you will fire to the outlined target. Added healing uh, via VFX to when you're being healed by the syringe itself or the pistol itself and added sound feedback for when being healed by the syringe or the pistol. Also, um, for the grappling hook, they fixed issues where the grappling rope got uh, kind of messed up within the FOV. They reduced the damage of the grappling gun. And that is pretty much it for specialists. They had a lot of vehicle fixes too. Uh, made exit positions from vehicles more uh, consistent, made improvements to controller vibrations for uh, vehicles, fixed uh, issues where missile countermeasures sometimes didn't work, fixed an issue for players driving hovercraft could not be shot through the front window. Uh, they fixed a lot of other FOV issues within vehicles themselves. They fixed some issues with the weapons like uh, not scoping correctly or having the correct ADS timers. Uh, projectiles no longer showing a proximity indicator and adjusted the reticle position and the brightness on the PKA and Cobra making these optics easier to use. Uh, gadgets, they had a few cool down fixes for them, nothing really too crazy. Of course, you know, some of the crates, smoke grenades now are fixed. They are working as intended. They were broken there for a while. Fixed a few issues with the repair tool as well as some soldier UI fixes and soldier visual fixes. Also some fixes for melee to adjusting the timing and sound of takedowns on enemies being prone and you no longer can perform a takedown on a soldier climbing a ladder and a few other bugs within that melee animation as well. Like I said guys, these patch notes are extremely long. It's a lot of visual fixes, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of UI fixes. I just kind of want to give y'all an idea of some new things coming to the game like the challenges and of course the ability to be able to see players that are downed if you're you know, needing to revive them or being able to see people that can revive you if you are that downed players those are some of the biggest changes and of course some of the things you know the bugs and issues we're having with operators i want to let you guys know about those as well but no real nerfs or buffs to weapons or you know any of the vehicles in this update of course that was kind of done with the last update i think this update was more of a bug fix kind of thing you know ui improvements all that good stuff so hopefully the game will be a bit better after today's update. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.